I'm here at Kogu Chocolate Shop in Larchmont getting ready for Valentine's Day. And I'm hungry. Let's go check it out. Here I am with Angela Ingreo, owner of Coco Chocolate Shop. Thank you so much for having me. It's really a, a blast to be here and Thank very you. yummy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Of course, of course. So tell me, um, how did you become a chocolatier? Uh, well, I first was a pastry chef, and then really and then chocolate was really my true passion. So. It evolved into that. And yeah. did you decide you just wanted to break out, do your own thing, and open up the shop? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Um, that is so cool. And you guys have been here for how long? You were telling me, and it just blew my mind when I realized how long it's been. This past October was six years. Unbelievable. And you're obviously very welcome here. Nobody doesn't like chocolate. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> it really is. My customers are wonderful. Yeah. So, so tell me, uh, it's Valentine's Day coming up, yes. and the desperate romantics are wondering what to do for Valentine's Day. Do you have any ideas? Well, the classic truffle is always a big hit. That's probably the biggest seller on Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. And uh, I have several, diff many different types of barks that people can choose from, and I even personalize hearts. So if people want to come in, usually a week before the holiday, I can write on a heart for them, any sentiment they want. Oh, that's really romantic. I like that idea. So um, all of this chocolate is made here yes. or elsewhere? No, nope. here on the premises. Oh, is that Fabulous. Yeah. So will you show me where you sure, make some right stuff? Okay, I'm so excited. We're going to go check it out. Here we are where all of the chocolate magic happens. I'm really excited to know how chocolate is made. A lot of people love chocolate but have never tried making it and really have no idea where you even begin. So can you kind of talk me through the process? Uh, sure. The uh, classic truffles that we talked about earlier uh, that are a huge favorite on Valentine's Day are made with your raw product of the chocolate. I use a 72% uh, dark chocolate and heavy cream and what you do is you uh, combine the hot cream with the chocolate and an emulsion happens mm -hmm. that's called your ganache you let that set up and then you roll your truffles oh isn't that fabulous so truffles are really a, a classic kind of chocolate yeah everybody likes them huh uh, just about everybody yeah. likes the classic truffle yeah. so but it's one of your most popular things for Valentine's Day what else is something that Valentine's Day lovers are interested in getting Caramels are also a huge favorite. I love caramels. <laughs> so we make our, our homemade caramel here, and then we fill our bonbon shells. Oh, how cool is yeah. this? And uh, another favorite that uh, I have out front is the heart-shaped brownie. Ah. Since the brownie is very popular. That sounds good. Yeah. So the brownie, it has won awards, has it not? Yeah, it won a Best of Rochester, <laughs> yes. You have to go to this award-winning chocolate shop. Who doesn't like that? Thank you so much. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> So after all that, this is the finished product. They do look delicious. Thank you, Jessica. I can see why they're a favorite here. So tell me, owning this shop, making this chocolate, after all of these years, do you have a favorite? I'm particularly fond of the Rhode Island bar. Dark chocolate with Rice Krispies. Oh my gosh. It's what I wanted ever since I was a kid. Sign me up. That looks good. <laughs> I'm ready for seconds and thirds. <laughs> Coco in Larchmont has been one of my favorite places to visit, for obvious reasons. And if you can't make it out to the shop, you can check them out on Amazon.com. All of their products are there. Now excuse me, I have some eating to do. Mmm, gosh. I'm moving in. <laughs>